settlement myth, Saint Madrigal calling the faithful to serenade. In France, before the puppet skirts the other, perhaps make some flagellant gas action. Please do let me know. Unlikely. The subject matter in these shadow theatres is generally historical and liturgical. The fall of Van Dyer, Macarian conquests, lives of the saints, and that kind of thing. If you prefer farce. <laughs> For all my chaos, I cannot understand how you draw anything meaningful from this drill. You know the empire will have to destroy these humans eventually, correct? Study a culture gives one an indication of where it came from, sometimes where it's going. What we learn can be extrapolated to other species. Besides, we will need some as thralls. You notice, for example, that this musician's battle melody weaves in the Song of Serenade. I did not, and care not to. In fact, why do we not agree that this portion of the inquiry will be your purview? It's getting dark. Time to move. A performer, the one with the tatty crown. King Mischief, yes. He has a third arm. Indeed. One of the performer's arms is false, I noticed. It allows his free arm to perform the mischief, picking pockets or planting incriminating evidence. A pickpocket. No wonder you're interested. King Mischief, from the volumes I've read, is a saboteur who shakes up the social order and exposes hypocrites. The scripts are, I understand, tightly vetted by the administrator. Note how even these bare hat blocks all have window boxes. Little gardens, vegetables, flowers, and each of them carved in rune-like patterns inherited, knowingly or not, from the Eldari. Fascinating, isn't it? Surely you infer and borrowing from long noted generous. I don't understand your fascination with humans, Chosen. I admit they have poor qualities, certainly. Unrefined? Without question. Superstitious? No doubt and primitive, fractious, and grasping as well. Besides, their biology is disgusting. Everything they consume for energy eventually kills them, their digestive tracts are literal colonies of bacteria, and their reproductive system is the same as their waste elimination system. Did you know that? Yeah. It's true. I've done the dissections. Yet despite all those differences, they've done a great deal in the galaxy. The Empire may, in time, eclipse the extent that ours was at its height. Perhaps it does already. They have not the coordination to tell. They are born weak, mature slowly, have short lifespans, and in a galaxy packed with creatures that come into the world fully grown and armed with fangs and armored with bone, they still have managed to become the dominant force of the technology and will. They remind me a bit of us, or rather how we used to be. Ambitious, but short-lived. <sighs> We have greater technology, and their lives are much longer than ours were. Not by much. Not really. Particularly given that they cannot use stasis scripts during star voyages as we did. Oh, they artificially extend them with drug treatments and augmetics, or the awful surgeries of the Astartes. But that is a very small minority. Most are overall adjusted to their short lives. They consider it enough. They know nothing better. Our truncated, two of the slides had to be lived in the shadow of the immortal old ones. Before that, we too accepted our fate. Do you think that, given the choice, they would trade their souls for immortality as we did? As you did. I resisted. I saw the delusion. You were only too willing to trade in that broken body of yours. I went to the flames of biotransference and chains. It is distinct in my engrams. I can picture it with clarity, the lock collar around my throat, metal hands, tireless, grasping my shoulders. They took me in my library. The one who did it, Nilkath, was a Sotek warden, one of the Stormlord's vassals. We remember it differently then. After all, you are the historical expert, are you not? 